obviously it's over a boy. I'm guessing. What do you? Why do they fight, Andav? <sighs> what is happening to me? I might like I. I feel like I might be talking too much. Hundred <laughs> percent. You guys know me, and you know I love winning. Oh. There's no better feeling than when I ran the LA Marathon with no training whatsoever and my buddies said I couldn't do it and I did it. That phone call, that text felt so victorious. Well, my days of running LA Marathons are done, but now I can still feel the sense of winning when I use DealDash, the online shopping platform that is actually fun. DealDash is the longest running penny auction website and app around. When you win, you can win deals for 90% off retail prices. Is this too good to be true? It's not, especially in the Christmas season. This is where you want to go. I just saw a car get sold for nine, 90 bucks, 900 bucks, a PlayStation 5 for 50 cents and a brand new TV for two bucks. This is where you want to do your Christmas shopping. Don't be a loser. Stop paying full retail price for things you want and get on Deal Dash. Go to www.dealdash.com slash bears. By the way, when you register, Enter the promo code BEARS. That's DealDash.com slash BEARS for a special offer. DealDash.com slash BEARS. DealDash, where dreams come true. Hey, man. I'm having anxiety, surgery anxiety. Why? I don't know. I, you know, I... Wait, you already had surgery. I know, but I'm having anxiety that I... Because um, I got a, my p physical therapist went in and, and really massaged in there. Yeah. And it feels weird. And so, do you ever have like... Like a... Uh, Nerve damage? Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but like, do you, do you ever have anxiety that you're fucking up? Like, when remember when uh, Ellis jumped on your arm? Oh, my God. And do you have, is that like, go, does that keep you up at night? No, it's more like in those moments in that day. Um, and I've had, you know, yeah, people like hit me in the arm where I'm like right where they had the surgery take place for the nerve. And I'm like, fuck. I met someone else who had nerve surgery. Yeah. Yeah. And the. Here's the thing. It's back to where it was pre-surgery. That's great. And then they're like, now it should just keep improving. But I still, you know, it's weird. I have numbness all through my hand. Really? Well, not all the hand, but like thumb, index, middle, and then this part. Do you want to hear hand. a secret? Yeah. Last night I was watching you uh, eat, mm -hmm. and I was trying to see if your pinkies were the same size. Really? Yeah. I was like, I, was like, I want to make sure that your pinkies are the same size. They are. You have weird hands, but mm -hmm. they are. They're weird. Yeah, they're they're. You have skinny fingers. Yeah, like you have oddly skinny fingers, like Ichabod yeah. Crane fingers. They are skinny. But like right now, I have I have uh, like weird feelings in here, and I think he's like, yeah, you got to break up the fascia. You know, that's a lot of what I do is I break up the fascia, and it just is. Uh, I go, I go, just don't, just don't. I, I, yeah, part of me goes, just don't. No one fuck with it, and then I and I'll just do things my way. I know that's not the right way, but like even like working out, I get nervous. Doing tricep ex except extensions because I'm I'm gonna drink. You know what? I'm, I've had I've had a fucking day and it hadn't even started. You ready for you ready for a great idea? Yeah, I'm going to brand us. This is a brilliant idea. We are going to take the names and assign them to characteristics, and then that will be the name you call that thing. I don't even know what you mean. So. Do you understand how a white woman getting upset is now called a Karen? Right, yes. We're going to name everybody. Whores, people that are too slow. We're going to name everybody. Stupid people get a name. Okay. Right? Yep. So let's find the characteristics first, and then we pick the name to assign to that person. And label them that. And then, oh, yeah, like, like, uh, like, uh, look, we'll start with, we'll start with, uh, we'll start with, um, like, give me an, a characteristic that you've seen in people. Yeah. Where you go, like someone who's just not paying attention, just slow as fucking shit, driving slow. Like someone. Oh, like, that's the worst. Yeah. Someone who's just like on their phone in traffic, like that. That energy of like they're not like and they're missing everything. They're and they're like, missing they're, everything. Yeah. Go buy them. What is that guy? What, we let's name that person. First yeah. of all, let's think of someone we know that does that a lot. Okay. Yeah. And then we give that name to that person. Um, I don't know if I know someone. That does that, but you see that all the time. Okay, then let's pull up, pull up uh, American names. Ten, let's do the ten most popular American names. Men's, and, uh, men's. Should we go men's and women? Well, there's going to be different lists. Okay. 
I think that person should get a man's name. Yeah. Okay. Oh, fucking Oliver. Oliver's a good one for that one. Oliver Look is good Look at fucking for Oliver over here on his yeah. fucking cell phone. That's really good Okay, for that. all right, all right. We got one. Yeah, yeah. Someone who's just not paying attention. Someone that's slowing you down yeah. is called an Oliver. For, here we go. Driving 40 on the freeway. Driving fucking Oliver just got, got to this country. Thinks we should be on the other side of the fucking... Pond? Look, doesn't, yeah, doesn't know how to drive in our country. Oliver's a great one. Oliver's a great one. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's another person? Let's go... Someone who... Uh, what about like really arrogant, like full of himself, you know? Oh, thinks he's thinks thinks like he's a, better than like a fucking Liam, you know? Oh, but Liam is our guy. Oh, you meant from yeah. We can't rename Liam. Mm. Liam works really good for arrogant though. Yeah, it does. Fucking Liam, because it God. feels kind of like at least it on in the states. Yeah, it's an aloof sounding. That name. sounds really good. So like a know it all. Yeah. So you're talking about China, and he goes. I'll tell you the deal with China. Yeah. And you're like, oh, fucking Liam over here thinks I don't know anything about yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, See? Liam's a good one. Yeah. Know it all. Arrogant, know it all. Yeah. Arrogant, know it all. And by the way, do you realize how fucking viral we're going to go if, 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 if we can name these and then something in the news happens with one of these people? Yeah. And, and they're like, and Oliver on the 105 today All right. was <laughs> How about looking... an uneducated person who uses violence to solve answers? I mean, it sounds like a Jimmy or like a... It does sound like a Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like a Jimmy. Jimmy! This is a fun name. Yeah. It's a fucking Jimmy. Easy Jimmy. J or Jimmy or a Randy. Earl. Travis, Randy, Randy, Randy's, Randy's, the, because it's like Randy. Randy's Monster. the dumbest fucking name you can have. <laughs> so if he like resorts to violence, it's fucking Randy. Oh, oh, violence Randy. solves all problems. <laughs> Randy, <laughs> violence solves all problems. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Randy. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's so great, Randy. That's like those stories you read where like they go, you know, the, the he, they didn't bring his coffee out. At the diner, and then he just like grabbed fucking somebody by the yeah. hair and threw them. And you're like, "What's happening?" So wait, so wait, what, what, what? So let's say it's a woman doing it. Can we, can we? Because they've got there are there are uh, women that resort to violence too. Uh, sure. yeah, yeah. I saw a woman doing it at McDonald's one time. Walk behind the counter at McDonald's on West Fourth in yeah. New York City, like two a.m. Walk behind the counter, and I was like. Oh shit! This is getting real. What well, yeah. she didn't realize is there was a bunch of Randys back there also. Yeah, and fucking, <laughs> they fucked her up. They fucked her up quick <laughs> as a bitch. I've seen multiple brawls. Brawl. I've been present for brawls at Waffle Houses before. You yeah. know, like seeing actual customers and staff fighting, including a guy with one arm. You know, the chef. And he would put the he would put the bacon uh, before he put it on the pan. It would be on his stump, and he would take the <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. And he would he would talk shit too. He'd be like, "You want some of this shit? Come back. Try to come over this counter. I'll fuck you up." He had one serious? arm. Yeah yeah. Jesus Christ! I'm sweating right now. All right, uh, all right. So Wait. So who's the female uh, violence solves all problems? What's the female equivalent to a a, a Rand? Yeah, Amanda. Okay. No, a no. Mandy. It's got to be Mandy. Sandy. Sandy and Randy. So we got to give female Sandy and Randy. Although there there is like a trashier woman's name for, who resorts to that. Yeah, We're, we, you know what I mean. Like the chick who the chick who's like I'm down to fucking fight. What is her name? Um. She's uh, when I when I picture her. Yeah, it is a white girl. Yeah, who's the white girl that got hit in the head with a shovel? Do you remember that? Put in white girl hit in the head with shovel. You never saw this video? Oh, so. oh this is the best video. Okay, you ready? Girl clobbers rival in the head uh, with shovel. Yeah, I've seen this, this is fucking great. Let's I've watch this. this. Let's enjoy this. Yeah, let's find out her name and the girl through the shovel or the girl who hit get that gets that fucking name. I need to put on headsets because part of the fun is hearing that. Oh, yeah. My head. Let's see what Rachel does here. Rachel's a good one. <laughs> Brad. What's, Brad's got to be someone. Yeah. Brad. And a guy gets caught jerking off. 
Go get right. Smasher Shovel. Ooh. Oh, man. He's connecting. It was bottom of the fuck? fist, too. Ooh. Ooh. You're not hitting me in the face, but you're tripping. You better quit kicking me. Remember, you're at my house. Well, oh, look, I think you just broke my hand with your face, dude. I got a hard time. Let's tell me you're calling the cops on me. I'm not leaving. Go! No. Hey, get the BB gun. Stop. Get the BB gun and shoot her. Go! Go! Did she just pick up the shovel or something? Did she sit in water? No, she's not gonna shoot gun with her. <laughs> oh my god rewind that that is the, but this is This is the most fascinating fight I've ever seen in my oh, life. Man. They were so reasonable. Like it's, the way they spoke to each other. It's a minute 40 of a lot of conversation. And then what's funny is once they're not. They're he fight. threw the shovel. Oh, yeah. It wasn't well, just. Can we point. find out the girl who threw the shovel? What's her name? She said they were arrested. I think when you Googled it. No, when you Googled it initially. You go to the all or scroll. Charges filed. Well, was it in West Virginia? Please say her name's Rachel. Disorderly conduct. In Miami? That was in Miami? No, it wasn't in Miami. It's Miami, County. Miami, Ohio. Wasn't that crazy that I knew those because of the way they were talking? They're not from Miami. Miranda. Miranda, Miranda and Randy and uh, Miranda. Miranda's a good one. Miranda and Randy. Her name was Miranda. Was that her name? Yeah. Her name's Miranda. Miranda and Randy. Look at fucking Miranda over here. Wow. That was great. I could watch that on a loop. I could watch that all day long. <laughs> the best is, uh, you better quit punching me in my face. Yeah. It's, a, it's fight, a fight, bitch. It's, bitch, it's a but fight. But what's crazy is the redhead said the same thing a, a minute earlier. Yeah. She was like, just don't hit me in my face or whatever. She was clocking her. What's interesting is once the... So the one girl that looked like uh, like a like a little uh, less attractive, I'll say. Okay. The one in the black, the one in the redhead is like obviously it's over a boy. I'm guessing. What do you? Why do they fight, Anav? <sighs> what is happening to me? I might like I. I feel like I might be talking too much, and I'm I'm out of words and syllables. Yeah. Um. It, does it say what? Okay. It all started with a, no no no. It all started with a war of words between Miranda Fugate of Vendelli and Emily Ollinger over a guy they knew. They're 14 there you go. years 14. old. Oh, fuck Two it. girls fighting said nearly seven minutes into the video, Fugate is seen chasing after, was headed to the door. Fugate stops, turns back, hits her and has a shovel in her hand. Uh, I told her to leave again. She refused, and I saw my shovel. I picked it up. <laughs> I already... <laughs> Uh, Fugate, who is being referred to online as Shovel Girl, eventually went to the hospital. Shovel Girl. <laughs> yeah. She got a concussion and caused her to be deaf in one ear. That's not real. That's what it says. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's that's lawsuit stuff. I mean, could be. Yeah. G g I, let's find her on Instagram. What's Fugate? Got to be on Instagram. Yeah. See her on Instagram right now. Let's see what she looks like. All right. Miranda Fugate. Yep. But right here, boom. Is it private? I doubt, I doubt it's private. Wow. That looks like her. That's her. Yeah. It's not 14 anymore. She's hitting vape pens. How many followers she got? Oh. Oh, she calls herself Shovel, Shovel, Shovel Girl. Girl. Yeah. Hi, Miranda. Hey, Miranda. I would say she's attractive, but she still looks very young. So You can still say she's attractive. You're very pretty. Yeah, she's got tattoos and everything. Ooh, Miranda Post says, let's go full screen on these pictures. Shovel Girl's pretty hot. She looks great. She's great. 
Oh, oh. who's that guy looks? Miranda. Oh. Miranda. It's in a hotel room. Oh, Miranda. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in a hotel room. They had, that, they had their weekend. I don't know if that's what that is. No? It doesn't look like it. What do you mean? I don't know. She's got more tattoos. Look at her arm. Oh, let her talk. I want to hear her talk. No. No. Song. So funny. I, Miranda's in great shape. She's an attractive young lady. Do you want to? Uh, I bet she's got OnlyFans. You do? I bet she's got an OnlyFans. I guarantee. Or just, just a lot of posing. Yeah, a lot of eye makeup and posing. Hey, let's see what the girl who hit her in the shovel looks like. Okay. Google with the other girl. What's her name? <clears throat> Emily Ollinger. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. What are the odds Emily has a child? Up there. I think it's 75%. She was born in 1982. Oh, that can't be her. That kid. That's not her. Wait, no. no, that's there's no way that's her. Emily, nineteen eighty two. Yeah, she. That's not her. No. That's not her. Em, yeah, yeah, Emily Ollinger is a lot more common than Miranda Fugate. Huh. <laughs> Can you imagine if one of your high school fights was forever online? Oh my god. I got fucked up a couple times, and Did I'm you? so glad no one knows about them. What led you getting fucked up? Me talking shit. My mouth getting in front of me. It was at all boys school? Uh, no, I never got a fight. I got a couple fights at, at Jesuit, but I never got hit. I never got touched. I was good with moving out of punches. I was, right. I was actually really good at... I think because I am... But the, I think because I have anxiety, I was really good at not getting punched. Like, I've never been... I'm, I've, I'm trying to think... I've never been straight. I, I one time I was punched. I was sucker punched, um, but it didn't. It didn't hurt. It, it was, wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But I was really good at predicting a punch coming and getting out of the way. I've ducked. When you say you got fucked up though, but how'd you? Uh, it was. It was because it was fucking hand to hand. Like it was like getting into a fight and fucking getting thrown and landing on my head. Oh. Yeah, that like would. someone kind of grabbing you and throwing. grabbing me and like suplexing me and taking me onto the ground. And I'm like, but it's all because you talked shit. I did, no, I fucking wrote a song. It was a joke. I did it. I performed it at our fraternity, and one guy got upset about it. And uh, and I don't know. I, he chose not to use his words because we were really good friends. I we I thought we were really good friends, and then he just fucking got in my face. And then uh, I think he tried to throw a punch, and I got out of the way. And then he grabbed me and. I, I just had my hands up so we were friends. I was like, I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting you. And he was like, I think he was like, it's too late. We already started. And then he just went, Flunk, and la landed me on my head. And I woke up. I woke up. I don't really remember it because I had to go to the hospital. I had to you really, did? Yeah, I had to go. Oh, it was bad. I, I've, someone found me on campus crying. It's like I got fucked up. It was a pretty bad head injury. And uh, I, w I had, it was finals. And so I, the fight happened. I woke up. He was still there, and he was freaked out. He was, like, genuinely shaken. And I was like, and I didn't know that we had gotten in a fight. And I was like, what happened? And he, I, want, I want to say he was crying. But he was, like, freaked out. And it was just me and him. It had been other people in the room, and then it was just me and him in the room. And I woke up, and then I, I was like, what happened? And he didn't say anything. And I just got up, and I was like, wait, what? And I went to my car. My, it was my sister's car. And I drove because I knew it was finals. And so I drove on campus, which I would, I've already parked at the 30 house. I was going to walk. But I got in the car and I drove on campus. I do not know where I parked. I parked. I was just out of it. I walked into a classroom and sat down. And I, but it was, the wrong, it was the wrong building. I never even had a class in this building. Sat in the, and then I went into the bathroom. And I was in the mirror and my, my brain wasn't. I couldn't get it to catch. Yeah. And I, and I was like, and I got really emotional. And then I walked outside. I sat. Um, on this this bench, and I didn't know what was going. On. I couldn't figure out what was going on, and I just started crying. You had, you had a con big concussion, a bad concussion, and this girl, who was a pie fi 
found me, saw me crying and said, hey, is everything okay? And I said, I don't know what's going on right now. And I said, I don't know what's happening. And she was like, okay. She was like, let me, uh, she was like, well, you want to take a walk with me? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, what happened? I go, I think I got beat up. I'm not certain. But I think I got into a fight, but I don't know. And and because I left the fraternity house, everyone was calling, looking for me. So like, that guy was like, hey man, I think I might have fucked Bert up. And and so everyone started looking for me, and I was with this girl, and I didn't I didn't know. I, don't, I think she was dating my friend Derek, and I, but I didn't really know who she was. And yeah. I and I, they got me to the fucking hospital, and they're like, "Who's the president?" And I think I said uh, it was Bill Clinton, but I think I said George Bush. But we, I think he had just become president, maybe. And then I was like, "George Bush, right?" And they're like, "Where do you go to school?" And I just said Jesuit because I I'd gone to school to Jesuit. I was just a little confused. I started. I was like, and then they put me in a CAT scan, and they're like, "You've had a, a pretty bad concussion." And then I like, and then I, I would get lost. Like I walked down to go get my mail, and I got lost get, f- getting my mail. And I was at the mailbox, and I was like, "I don't know where the fuck I am." And there's like the next day, and I was like, "I was like, I am super confused." And I, it, it, I got emotional. I started crying, and my girlfriend at the time found me. She was like, "Are you okay?" And I was like, "I'm not really certain where I am." <laughs> it was really fucking scary. Did but they then, do anything? To you when that happens, I went to I went to a neurologist. I had a bunch of tests <laughs> performed on me. I had <coughs> electrodes all hooked to my head. I had these f- lights flashing in my <coughs> eyes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, basically it was like, and this was like before any concussion protocol. I don't. I mean, I don't think I. I didn't. I didn't do anything. But like, I probably drank beer, or smoked weed, and I didn't think about that at all. But uh, and it kind of changed my personality a little bit. Because I was, I was, I did not really drink before then at all. Like I didn't drink. I, like I, I mean, I had dra- I drank in high school the way a regular kid would, but I wasn't like a big drinker. And then the next year, um, I st- I turned twenty one. Was that last year? And then and then I, well, then I got one for you. What? A guy who is a bad influence on other guys is a Derek. I like that. Yeah. I like that. You know what I mean? A bad guy is a bad influence on other guy. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. It's a Derek. Yeah. Oh fucking Derek. Oh fucking okay. Oh, I forgot we we're doing that game. Okay. Um, yeah, I got fucked up by Randy. This episode of Two Bears One Cave is brought to you by Squarespace. You can create a beautiful website, which you must have if you're operating in the modern world. You have to have a website, and you can turn whatever it is you're into into that website. You send people there. I don't care if it's your new idea, you want to showcase your work, what you've been writing, what you've been photographing, what you've been drawing. You can publish content. You can sell products if you design jewelry or whatever you have, physical business, online business. You want to announce an upcoming project, a party, uh, anything you want to do, you have to have a website. And Squarespace sets you up in the easiest way. We have all designed Squarespace uh, websites here because it's so easy. You have beautiful templates created by world-class designers. Powerful e-commerce functionality. It's it's mobile optimized right out of the box. It's so easy to use and it looks so good. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BEARS to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com. Enter the code word BEARS. This podcast is brought to you by betterhelp.com. They are online therapy. I've been doing online therapy since you saw me have my meltdown on this podcast. <laughs> You don't need to have a meltdown. Listen, if you're just struggling with depression or just getting out of bed or dealing with anything, things are tough. For me, online therapy works better because you can go online and you don't have to get in traffic and drive somewhere. And the great thing about uh, BetterHelp is they may have specialists that aren't offered in your area. They may be people that deal with things you don't do, and they're adding tons and tons of therapists. That's how many people are doing it right now. You can connect with a therapist in just 48 hours. You can do it on the phone, even live chat sessions with a licensed professional therapist. They will assess your needs, match you with your own accredited therapist. And like I said, they've got uh, services that are available that may not be available in your area. Uh, If you need help, this is a good time. Hop on it. Try it out. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. And if you don't like your therapist, you can also change therapists. I've changed therapists a lot. This is a pretty heartfelt read because I do love therapy. Visit betterhelp.com slash bears and join the 2 million people who have already taken charge of their mental health 
with an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp, I mentioned this earlier, that they are recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Two Bears, One Cave is sponsored by BetterHelp, and our listeners get 10% off their first month of online therapy at betterhelp.com slash bears. That's betterhelp.com slash bears. Today's episode is brought to you by Whoop, the personalized digital fitness and health coach. As you can see, I have my Whoop on. First thing I do in the morning, I open my Whoop app, I see how I slept, and I know immediately how my day is going to go. You can monitor your recovery, your sleep, your training, and health with personalized recommendations and coaching feedback with Whoop. You train smarter, you recover faster, sleep better, and now feel healthier with Whoop and their all-new Whoop 4.0, the latest, most advanced fitness wearable on the market. The all-new 4.0 is smaller, smarter, and designed with new biometric tracking, including skin temperature, blood oxygen, and more. The device also features an all-new smart alarm designed to wake you up feeling refreshed and ready to take on the day. This thing is incredible. You'll never have insight into what's going on with your body like this. It is so fascinating, and you deserve to know it. You're going to be hooked once you're on it. The all-new waterproof device is free when you sign up for a Whoop 4.0 membership. For any members, if you have six months left of membership on your account, you can upgrade now and get the 4.0 for free. Right now, Whoop is offering 15% off when you use the code CAVE at checkout. Go to whoop, W-H-O-O-P dot com. Enter C-A-V-E at checkout to save 15%. The, um, my dad told me he, had, he got a concussion in um, playing high school football, and this is in like the fucking whatever, 50s or something? Yeah. 60s. Um, right? It would have been like late 50s, early 60s. And I mean, you know what those helmets were like. <laughs> yeah. And, then, and um, the way that they knew something was wrong is he didn't know how to take his shoulder pads off. Really? Yeah, so like practice was over or the game and he was just like, and they're like, are you gonna take those off? And he was like, huh? How do you get these off? And they're like, oh. <laughs> this guy's fucked up. <laughs> just get lit up in that era. Okay, what, uh, what is, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of the right one to say. By the way, I wonder if, I'm, I wonder if that concussion affected me today. Like, you know, you ever notice when I start talking, then I'll go, wait, what were we talking about? Yeah. I wonder how long lasting. I would love to be, do a brain measurement on me and then a brain measurement on you about activity and see, like, if how if many. Your frontal lobe is just gone. Yeah. Like, because Joe was talking last night about having concussions. Yeah. And I wonder what, I wonder what the signs of uh, CTE are. And I wonder if I got them. I had a okay. few concussions growing up. Yeah. Yeah, I remember one time playing football, and I remember what are some short term memory loss. Okay, fuck, everyone's got that. Okay, asking the same question several times, you're having difficulty remembering names or phone numbers. Changes in moods, such as frequent mood swings, depression, and feeling increasingly anxious, frustrated, or agitated. Increasing confusion and disorientation. For example, getting lost, wandering, or not knowing what time of day it is. Difficulty thinking, such as finding it hard to make decisions. As the condition progresses, slurred speech, scroll, scroll. Significant memory problems, um, Parkinsonism, difficulty eating or swallowing. I mean, I've got, I don't have any Parkinsonism. Isn't that what it's called, Parkinsonisms? Parkinsonism. I don't have any Parkinsonisms, but I have, I don't have memory problems. Um, I don't have any slurred speech. I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have a hard, t I have a hard time making decisions. Uh huh. I have a hard time making decisions. Do but you have increasing confusing and disorientation. I don't get lost or wander. I, I always know what time it is. I always know what time it is. When I wake up, I can tell you exactly the time is without looking at a clock. Really? Yeah. Changes in mood. Uh no. Uh. -uh. Increasingly anxious. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's that's definitely me. Frustrated and agitated, yeah, I get very frustrated and agitated. Go, I have a. Can I tell you, I have a, I have an impossible time remembering phone numbers. Wait, can you remember phone numbers? Well, I'm trying to think if anyone ever. I don't know did. my phone number. Really? Yeah, like I, I've had this phone and I couldn't tell you the phone number. Really? I don't know it. I've never called it. And I, I only know. I mean, I used to know. I think we all used to know a bunch of them, right? That's a good fart. Yeah, it's I. I used to know everyone's phone number. 
I, yeah. I know Leanne's phone number is the only phone number I know. Do you, how many phone numbers? You know Christina's phone number, obviously. Yeah, but I don't know. I know my number. I know her number. I do know my parents' numbers. I know my parents' numbers. I know my dad's office number. I know my dad's office number. I know my mom's my mom's cell phone. My dad's. I don't know my dad's cell phone. I do know my dad's cell phone. That's it. Those are the, those are the numbers I know. I don't know any other numbers. I know. I used to know my physician's number because it was such a one of those standout numbers. That's the only reason. Yeah. Like I I had called it before and I was like, "That's your number," and so that's the reason I I memorized it. It was like. I remember my ridiculous. grandma, my grandmother's phone number. I wonder if it's the same. Let's see if I remember my grandmother's phone number. Okay, I'm gonna call. She's dead. Oh, my aunt still lives there. Nope, that's not it. Um, let me. I, I wonder how close I was to it. You want to know what my phone number was when we moved to Florida? You have to bleep this. Yeah. Check out this number. This is a great number. It was easy to memorize, too. What is it? Why is that easy? That's really easy to remember. Yeah. God damn it. That's a great fucking... I don't have my grandmother's number. Hold on. Wow. I was, I, I was just close. Yeah. I was, I was really close. Because I remember it, it went, it went, it was dot 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 dot. You got it. Yeah. Oh, or you're close. I was, I was fucking really close. I that's that you can't put, put remembering numbers down because no one remembers fucking numbers anymore. Do you remember names well? Uh, no, no, I, I couldn't tell you anyone's name. But I, that's also because I'm very self centered, and so I only think about myself. I don't often think of other people's names. I mean, I can. I mean, like. No, think about how long it took me for to learn everyone's name in here. How long did it take you? Think. Oh, uh, I, Nadav is the only one I knew. I didn't. I didn't want to say any's name because I didn't know how it was pronounced. So I just never kind of like focused on it. Yeah. Um. Uh. Chris. I kind of knew Chris's name, but I never said it because I was never sure that was his real. Like that was what it was. But I get emails from Chris every Monday. Yeah. And so I didn't. Like, I didn't know that was the same guy that was emailing me every Monday. And then, uh, and then, who's the cutie pie that looks like he, he shouldn't go to prison? What? The sense of the front door. Of the old office. The cutie pie? <laughs> Zolo. Zolo, Zolo. Oh, yeah. Baby he doesn't Zolo. look like a Zolo. What was his last name? Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, I was like, what a weird fucking name, Zolo. Yeah. What's yeah. his first name? Josh. Okay, Josh is the name of a guy who you don't remember his name. Someone, someone who is unmemorable. It's a Josh. It's a Josh. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It was a total Josh, man. It was a Josh. I mean, I don't know. There were like five Joshes there. Yeah. Who fucking knows what their names were? Walked in, met a bunch of Joshes. Literally, my whole night was like, "Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh." Yeah. And so, whenever you see someone, they go, "You don't remember my name, do you?" You always got to go. Is it Josh? What about when someone's wholly unlikable, where you're like, ugh, I cannot stand this person's energy at all? Okay. An Ari. That's a good one. That's a good one. Jesus Christ. And then fucking Ari came over to my house and drugged me. <laughs> An Ari's a good one. It's very good. Dude, have you seen her new boyfriend? He's a total Ari. Total Ari. I had to go. You're like, for real? Oh, you want to get her out of the relationship? Like, yeah. like if, you, if if Ari came home with your sister, you'd be like, what are you doing? Oh, right? Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. a good one because Ari is like, is like my daughters don't like him. My wife doesn't like him. You don't like him. I love Ari. But that's because that's because he's a he's a Derek to me. Yeah. He's a Derek. And he's lucky that you're not a Randy. <laughs> he's lucky I'm not a Randy. Because all those times he was a, a Liam, yeah. he's been a Liam a lot. A lot. Like, oh, what are you buying a fucking house for? Yeah. Easy, Liam. Okay? <laughs> Just because you're living your career like an Oliver doesn't mean... <laughs>
All right. What is what's another name? Um, what's give me a give me a trait that you? What are we gonna call someone? Um, how about cheap? That's a trait. Yeah, when someone's real cheap. Um, someone who's Scroogey, but not Scrooge is not the right one. No, um, Scrooge is different. Cheap. Yeah. You know, there's just these cheap fucks. He put him. He put his own name there. The <laughs> Dove. No, we can't have two names like that back to back. Yeah, yeah. What if we just we just found out we've only been listing Jewish names? Yeah. You know, annoying as shit. Oh, it's a Jason. <laughs> um, cheap is. Um. Is, is it? It's. it's the, I'm gonna start saying that. Pull up the names that we got. Big names: Steve, uh, Terry. Uh, Jason, JJ, uh, Randall. No, we already got Randall. Benjamin, William, Billy, yeah. Chad. Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. Lucas sounds cheap. Yeah. Either that or Lucas sounds like a very un slovenly, unkempt person. You think Lucas does? Yeah. You like mucus Lucas? Okay. Yeah. Look at fucking Lucas over here. Oh my God. Lucas hasn't showered in a week. Lucas. Lucas. <laughs> Okay. Unkempt and cheap. No, no. Unkempt and slovenly is a Lucas. Okay. Yeah. Cheap is that the else. best one? For. All right. What do we What do we call someone who is an absolute dreamboat? A dreamboat? Samson. Samson? It's a good name. That's a good name. Fucking Samson. Holy shit, Samson. Like a model looking dude. Yeah. Where did you get Samson from? Yeah. Samson's a male model. Samson. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um. Uh, we got to get our names in there. Okay, what do you gotta call a guy that comes to a party and makes the party so much better? Bert. A Bert. Yeah. Look at fucking Birdie Boy over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. And then what do you call a guy who makes sure that a selfless guy that makes sure you have a better time than he does? A Tommy. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. I like how we give ourselves complimentary names. Selfless. 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 Selfless is a good one. Okay. Where is, uh, what happened to your husband? Oh, he pulled a Tom. He's with the kids. He's letting me have my night out. Um, okay. Do we give our wives complimentary names? No, 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 no. Oh. No, what they are. Sure. Okay. Um, someone who won't listen to her husband, but probably should when it comes to financial decisions. <laughs> Such a Leanne. <laughs> Such a Leanne. Um, how about? I be honest with you, this beer's not turning it for me. No, no. I don't feel like I should take a shot or something. Maybe we can arrange for that. Got Tito's. No, 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 no. I'll tell you what, Leanne is. Okay, a Leanne. So, it, because people call say, "Oh, she's my Leanne," right? Uh huh. A Leanne is a person who, uh, who is, thank you, Nadav, is very accepting of their of their person's flaws. So, like when if all, say all of a sudden you're out to dinner with a Lucas, right? Yeah. And uh, and you lean over, you're like, "What is she seeing him?" She's like, "Well, she's a Leanne." All like, right. Oh, for real? She sees yeah, yeah, yeah. She she's sees blind. It. She doesn't see any of it. Yeah. Or she sees it and she just pretends to ignore it. You're like, really? Oh, yeah. Look at him. He's a fucking Lucas. I've actually had that conversation with Leanne. Really? Yeah. And then, so then what's what's a Christina? Mm, what is a Christina? She um, is like, why does it take you that long to just buy coffee? And you're like, um, I have to park. So someone who's impatient, yeah. I like in that <laughs> impatience of Christina. Yeah, that's a good one for her. But we have to know you made it all positive though. Oh yeah. <laughs> so now I gotta be like, no, 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 erase that. Uh, what's it? What's someone who? What's someone who gets shit? By the way, I'm sweating my fucking ass off. Why? I don't know. I'm fucking. And he doesn't have air conditioning in here. Hey, super, super supportive is would be would be a Christina. You gotta be. She's like, he wants to do this and he wants to do that. That's a good one. That. That's a good one. Yeah, super, yeah. super supportive. Super supportive. Oh, 
overly supportive. Overly supportive. Overly supportive. Oh my God, Jesus! You think you think Christina was his mom? Yeah, he fucking believes in himself, and the guy's a fucking straight up Ari. <laughs> I mean, the guy walked into this. Let's uh, let's use these in sentences, okay? Yeah. So. I'm so sorry I was late to dinner. I have fucking Oliver in front of me. Jesus Christ. You should have taken the 101. Easy, Liam. Okay? Yeah. I know exactly how to get there. I fucking literally, was, I was driving so slow, I almost went full Randy on him. Mm -hmm. But luckily, my wife's not a Derek, and she talked me out of it. Yeah. Speaking of Derek's, the other night, there's this guy comes into a party. I don't fucking know. Typical Josh, right? Yeah. And he's with a guy who can't stop saying the N word? Ari. Ari. <laughs> and they're making fun of me because, look, I've been working all day and I was a little Lucasy, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, like, who do they think want me to be? A Samson? Because I'm not. I really just am a Bert at heart. And and if if, if I wish I had a, I wish I had a Tom there to help clean me up, you know? Because Tom would tuck my shirt in for me. But I wasn't there with a Tom. I was there with my wife, and that night she was being a total Christina, and Leanning everything, Leanning everything. That's a fucking. By the way, this is fun. It's a. Few, it's a. It's a really. It's going to help people out. Yeah, just to yeah. Yeah. And you know what? I, I'm excited for. Can you guys tag us on Instagram without your spouses knowing what they are, and just go? I'm here with Randy. Yeah. And, <laughs> Do you know what this is? If you're with a Randy, it's probably the end of the road. Yeah, I'm with a Randy. Fucking. Hey, just a camera on the on the guy, shirtless, eating popcorn, watching TV, drinking a beer, and just the wife going, hey, Lucas. <laughs> hey, Lucas. You're lucky I'm a Leanne. Or like how many of them are going to be like, this, I'm with a total Ari. And they'll be like, what kind of name is that? <laughs> Ari. Completely unlikable. Um. Do we forget anything? Because, because you know, well, there's, there's other character, there's other character traits for sure. But that's a good list. It's a great list. I, I'm really proud of that list. Yeah, I'm really proud of that list. It's really. I'm good. gonna start using it. And yeah. by the way, I think we gave the right names to the right things because I Lucas, for me, I think of a messy person. Yeah, it works. It really works. I might go full bur birdie boy mode. I just burped. You've been burping more. Do you know why I'm going full birdie boy mode? What? Now I'm going to start thinking I have CTE. I'm going full birdie boy mode because my best friend's a full Tommy. And he's flying me to L.A. today. Flying you to L.A.? Yeah. I got a full Tommy. And yeah. I'm going to fly home and my wife's going to pick me up because she is a Leanne. Yeah. God. I, I fucking love this. All right. What? Uh, um, when you get to L.A., Yeah. what's your first food stop? Ooh. I wonder if I can tell Andy I'm in and out burger and have it waiting for me in the car. Oh. Oh, let's do some ASMR. Right now? Yeah. You want to do this kind of stuff? I love this. Really? There's a girl who does ASMR for me. Yeah. She gives me ASMR positivity mm -hmm. things. She sends you like links? I don't know. <laughs> can you find her? She, she, I don't know how I know this person. I, I really don't know how I, know. I must know her. <laughs> so she sent. Sounds like she's kind of a Josh. It was a little bit of a Josh, but no, I'm being serious. She is an absolute Samson. Okay. A legit Samson. Really? Yeah. Well, look, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to find her. I think she's on Instagram. She is a definite fucking Samson. Really? Yeah. And she also does ASMR? She does. That's her thing. Is she has a podcast with her husband, mm -hmm. who, by the way, is hardcore Christina. Mm -hmm. Like, definitely a hardcore Christina. Mm -hmm. A-S-M-R. Damn it. What is this woman's name? Oh, fuck. Is it Maddie? Oh, man, this bums me out. So she does, god damn it, I wish I could find her. She does ASMR podcast. She's an ASMR podcast. And um, can you guys do the research on my Instagram? She has an ASMR podcast. I think her name is Maddie. I think it, type in ASMR Maddie. Maddie? Like M-A-D-D? -D? 
M A D D Y I E maybe. Yeah. Um. No, oh, yeah, that's her. Samson. Scroll. That's her. That's her. That's her. Uh. So she does a. What is her name? Uh, ASMR Maddie. I was right. Yeah. So she sends me. I'll see if I can find this. A S M R M A D D I E. That's her. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, that's like she's cupping your stuff. Wait. How did I? How did I find her? Oh my god. This, I wish I knew how I, I found her. I think I have a couple ideas. No, no. So she sent me, um, she sent me, uh, a daily confirmation, not daily. She did it once, but it was a morning confirmation an ASMR confirmation. Oh, what is that? What is it? What is a confirmation? She, I, I'm, I'm, I really wish someone would grab my phone and find this for me. Uh, M A. It's okay. It's okay. No, but it's so good, Tom. It's so good. And she did ASMR stuff. She go, uh, Are you an ASMR fan? Like no, but it's it's so. So like right now, there's you know pe some people have like a real reaction to that. Really? Yeah, I think Nikki Glaser. She doesn't like it. No, loves it. Like if she listens to that, sends like signals up her back and her. For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's people who hear that and like oh they're like oh my god like it it overstimulates them. Interesting. So no, she. I, I'm really. I wish I remembered more. This is fucking CTE shit right now. But she said she gave me a shout out or something. I was like, "That's very sweet of you." And then she, and then she was like, "I said I wish I could, I wish I could wake up to that." Whatever she said, something nice about me. I said, uh, "I wish I could wake up." And she goes, "Why don't I give you a? Um, I'll give you an ASMR uh, uh, affirmation." Yeah, and it was fucking intense. It was it. it I couldn't listen to the whole thing, yeah, because immediately it connected me with sexuality, right? Like as soon as it's like it's like, hey, big boy, yeah, good morning. I don't do ASMR so good. My ASMR sucks. But watching her, by the way, cup the mics, no, that's her tickling them, right? Yeah, but I'm saying the visual of it is, it is. I liked it. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, See if you can find. Maybe she put it on YouTube. See if you can find like that right there. Go to her visual. YouTube and see if there, there's an ASMR Maddie Burt video, uh, but it's private. Um, hmm. whoa, whoa, that's whoa, not the whoa, way whoa. I'd go about it, but huh? Whoa! She's got two hundred eleven thousand subscribers. There's nothing there? Okay. Let me see if it's in my emails. I'd love for you to listen to this. I think you'd be fucking. Turn How do you spell it? M-A-D-D-I-E? M-A-D-D-Y, I think it was. It right? was? Yeah. Let me ask you this. Shoot. Did you go to the UFC? I did. Did we talk about that? Well, how was it? You didn't even tell me. I wish I knew her last name. I, got, I think I got one of What? Um, it UFC. was fucking awesome. First one, first one ever I've ever been to, and I've. What's interesting is I've been watching UFC for a while, but I've just. I mean, like, I've I've really enjoy UFC, but I, and I don't. I claim to not know a lot about those fights, but I do know an, way more than like someone who doesn't watch it at all. Like really? something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I you know I definitely don't. But I've been to so I, I I probably know as much as you then. Like I like do I have shit all over my face? You have shit all over the table. Yeah, I know. I know. It's it's uh, ASMR stuff. So, uh, maybe I'll do daily ASMRs. Hey. What's the opposite? I'm the opposite of ASMR. I'm like fucking a loud as fuck. 
All right, put on the list. Someone yeah. who talks too quiet and you can't hear him is a full Maddie. Okay. Like, Jesus Christ, I went to dinner with this Maddie last and night. And how about like, a super person. loud person? That's a... It's a patty. I got you know what? I You gotta I, don't have to shit. I have to shit. No, you don't. I swear to God. I'll, look, I'll be quick. Alright, I'll find this ASMR thing. Alright, I'll be quick. Shut the fuck up! McGruber? Are you fucking kidding me? McGruber? They're doing a TV show? Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, I love I loved McGruber. Let me read this verbatim so we can all watch it together. Spread the world, you friggin' turds. MacGruber is back. After rotting in prison for more than a decade, America's ultimate hero and uber patriot is released to take on one final mission. Fuck yes! MacGruber's old nemesis, Brigadier Com Comrade Enos Qui is intent on destroying the free world. And the U.S. government knows there's only one man that can stop him. With the help of his old team, Vic St. El... No way. The whole fucking team's back? Are you shitting me? MacGruber sets out to save the day. One more... Th one throat rip at a time. I fucking... I don't need to tell you. I loved MacGruber. I can't wait to watch this with my girls. Based on the iconic Saturday Night Live sketch and cult classic movie, the Peacock original series starts with stars with Will Forte... Kristen Wiig, Ryan Philippe, and Sam Elliott, fucking Lawrence Fishburne, Billy Zane. Are you shitting me? God damn it. How the fuck did they afford this? This has got to be expensive as shit. Binge the entire first season of MacGruber right now. I will on my ride to Houston only on Peacock. Go to PeacockTV.com to sign up. It's Christmas week and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA, has a gift that'll certainly put you in the holiday spirit. New customers customers can bet just $5 on any NBA team and win 150 in free bets if they're victorious. It's a great way to put a little extra jingle in your pocket. I love betting, and I always use uh, DraftKings because on big games, I love playing betting on big games. Not betting the bank, $5 would be a perfect bet, but NBA Finals, uh, uh, Super Bowl, just makes the game more interesting. Everyone can play for huge cash prizes with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Basketball Contest. DraftKings is giving all new customers a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes with their first deposit. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use the promo code BEARS. Bet just $5 on any NBA team and win $150 in free bets if they're victorious. That's the promo code BEARS this Christmas week at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Remember, must be 21 years old or older in New Jersey, Indiana, or Pennsylvania only. New customers only. Minimum $5 deposit and a $1 wager require required one per customer. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Okay, so this may be my favorite or my second favorite. <laughs> This one definitely has the sex appeal. <laughs> Depending on what we are doing, I could. This is her. This is her. Up or down. By the way, we are about to double her subscribers. <laughs> are we? Are we back on, Nadav? <laughs> this this one is titled "Sexy." Uh, what is it called? Flirty friend gets your date night advice. This is insane to me because it's engaging as fuck. Like, I'm yeah. watching this going like... I don't know. I feel cute in it. Like, it's kind of trendy. I definitely like the side boob. Okay, so this is the super cute for right. people. All right, Nadav, just play the one I sent you. Play the one I sent you. Are you ready? Yeah. This is what we found. Yeah. What a day. Go back. Go back to the beginning, Adolf. Go back to the beginning. Hey, big guy. Man, what a day. And you know, I don't think there's any better way to fall asleep. Especially after such an awesome day. 
as with some nice, relaxing rain ball. Do you hear the rain ball? You know, the best way to wind down is just with soft rain falling outside the window. I just love that sound. So, she <laughs> sent these to me. You know. I don't think I can really overstate how much you crushed it today. <laughs> this is a daily affirmation. You worked hard. <laughs> you pushed yourself to the limit. You took care of the people you love. I did. You got some pretty big laughs. I mean, obviously. I yep, obviously. And maybe best of all, yeah, you absolutely earned your treat. Oh yeah, end of it all. <laughs> this was made for you. So yeah, now play my play my morning one. Play my morning one. Comfy. Play my morning one, Nadav. Okay. All right, you ready? Good morning, big boy. <laughs> I hope you got the rest last night that you deserve by the way don't you absolutely love waking up to this beautiful view i love that that sounds my favorite sound in the world in yeah. the background yeah and the waves crashing gently on the shore it's so relaxing you know i think you're gonna take that energy with you all day long and use it all throughout your day now before we get this wonderful day of yours started yeah i don't want to get out of bed take just a minute and get your mind right so you can attack this day this should be an app like the gladiator yeah. you are this should be an app because by the way now a guy who works hard as you do definitely deserves treats yeah. at the end of a long day and I know that you are absolutely going to earn your treats today <laughs> you're going to crush your to-do list you're going to take on everything that comes your way isn't this awesome yeah. you're going to make it look easy fuck yeah <laughs> All right, hit pause. Do you want her to make one for you? Sure. Okay. I wonder if, wonder if she can call in. Did you have to tell her your things? Like treats? No, she's a fan. Oh, okay. She's a fan, and so she was, I, I, can, I already just wrote, can you call, she goes, they're both unlisted on YouTube. I love making these. So if you need another one for Tom, I got you covered. <laughs> Booyah. I wrote, can you call us? I don't know my number, Nadav. Do you know your number? Um, go go to the uh, her video page. Okay. List of videos, yeah. I would love to hear Spanish ASMR. I want to hear French ASMR. Oh, French would be Type great. in French ASMR. I bet that's fucking awesome. I don't know my number. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. It doesn't. It doesn't hurt that she's hot. You know. No, it doesn't. But what's cool about ASMR is that you don't need to see what the person looks like, and it's always sexy. Oh my God! I thought the, <laughs> I thought the thumbnail on the massage one was jacking. I was like, <laughs> right, hold on, right there. I thought she was. I thought she was jacking. I was like, oh my God! I clicked that one. <laughs> Oh shit! He's jacking someone off. Hey, wait. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Somebody... uh, oh, this is her husband. Okay. Volbo and Christina.
I'm gonna sleep the dog. The dog. <laughs> okay. Nadav, w- okay. How about Yiddish ASMR? Is Yiddish the language you speak in Israel? In Israel? In Israel? In Israeli? No, Israeli? they speak Hebrew. Hebrew. Okay, Hebrew ASMR. Oh, that is not going to be pretty sounding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, speaking gonna Hebrew. Be, this is going to be terrible. Okay, here we go. Super cute. Beautiful. Nadav, what's she saying? I'm just going to speak in Hebrew for you. You don't give me my money back. I take a pound of your flesh. Yep. Really, not a lot. She's really super. She's beautiful. Okay. Nadav. Nadav. What's going on? What's Jesus. she saying? Uh, she's kind of just like fumbling around, speaking in Hebrew. She's like, I'm just gonna speak in Hebrew, and you know, I'm just thinking that this is the thing to do. Like, she's not really saying anything. Okay. Ooh, Nadav, can you do some Hebrew ASMR to me real quick? <laughs> Just whisper. Sure. Kus ima shelcha. Kus aba shelcha. Kus emek. Benzona. Benzona. Sherutim. Midbach. What did you say? I'll take two, please. <laughs> uh, I said uh, your mom's cunt, your dad's cunt, uh, bathroom kitchen. Wow. Just, just some words. <laughs> uh, how about French? I do want to hear French. Yeah, French right? ASMR. Because that's like the best. Yep. Jete pour mon jambon de tenderloin. Manger mon menu. Oh. You can already tell she'd be a great girlfriend. She's got my dad on her cup. Okay. Like that, I get it. It's good. I wonder if Leah can do ASMR. She's like, I don't know. Hell yeah. Back it on up. <laughs> Fucking AF, AF, AS. I was reading UFC. I was reading UFC and I was saying ASMR. ASMR is fucking fat. Do dudes do ASMR? Yeah. Put hot dude ASMR. <laughs> what? <laughs> hot dude ASMR. Because if it's not up there, I know what I, my next videos are going to be. Okay. There you go. Oh, it's all bliss. Oh, dude. He's going to be kissing and... Cleaning your ears? I don't know. Deep cleaning your ears? I don't know, bro. Oh. Okay, stop uh. it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was a big mistake. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with this kid? He uh, thinks this is not what he needs to be doing. Oh, this is a big thing. Yeah. Oh, because they want to. Oh, I just understood what ASMR is. It's like sweet talking in your ear. Well, it's, a, it's, it's that soft sounds. Oh, here, know? play this for Tom. Oh, stop, stop, stop. This is, you ready for my ASMR? It's going to be a lot of mouth breathing. Like, 
Like my ASMR is not sexy. Like it's be mouth breathing and then like sleep apnea. Who put in sleep apnea ASMR? <laughs> sleep apnea ASMR. Do you like watching people snore? I do. Yeah. No, I don't know. Maybe I do. Let me see people snoring. Yeah. What does that say? Tom Segura makes a surgeon salary in a night. Full interview. Where snoring comes from. I don't. I want to see someone snoring. Yeah. There we go. Oh, a hot chick snoring. Wow. Wait. She fell asleep so fast. <laughs> and now she's snoring like the biggest dumbass. <laughs> oh, what a retard! <laughs> That again. Oh. I want to watch that again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she fell asleep so fast, <laughs> and now she's snoring like the biggest dumbass. Oh, what a retard! <laughs> Oh, that's fucking great. Oh. oh, that's fucking great. Oh, that's all. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I made a mess out of here. Yeah, I went to the UFC. And who'd you see fight? I saw Kamara Usman fight uh, Kobe Covington. How was that? It was a fucking great fight. The best fight of the night was Michael Chandler and... Um, was it Michael Chandler? Was it? Yeah. And and just, Gaith- Justin, Justin Gaethje? Gaethje? Justin Gaethje. Yeah. Dude, those guys fucking. I mean, that was like that was like a roller coaster. You watch that, and then uh, Rose. I'm not gonna attempt Nama to say Junis. her last name. Rose fought the uh, Chinese lady. How was that? Uh, it was a little weird because everyone started chanting USA, and I, no, I don't, I don't know, don't know the Rose girl, but I saw her backstage, and I was, I think she's fucking awesome. Really? Yeah, I like her energy. Um, dude, that Michael Chandler fight was. Justin Gaith JD was fucking awesome. They were like just fucking. Did you have the night off? No, I did Madison Square Garden downstairs in the theater. Oh. And then they walked me upstairs to go see the fight. Oh, right. You did the Hulu theater to at the, the garden. At the garden. And then they brought me upstairs to go see the fight. And they, they, Madison Square Garden, thank you very much. James Dolan was nice stuff to give us some great tickets. Um, I didn't get a chance to thank him because he was with his family and I didn't want to bother him, but shout out to, uh, shout out to James Dolan and, uh, it was fucking awesome. It's so great to see that, but, uh, I got, I definitely, you know, in a, I was walked away and I was like, I'm definitely got coronavirus. I've definitely got coronavirus. Really? Oh yeah. I, uh, there's no social distancing with MMA fans and they were just walking up to my seat and just taking pictures with me and I was, and it was not, not a couple, it was a lot. And so, and I was, and, and I was like, you know what? I got the booster shot. Let's fucking test this thing out. And so, but no, <laughs> no, uh, no fucking. How I, many I, people did you go with to the fight? Your whole crew? Yeah. Eight. Oh, wow. Yeah. He was, they, we went and saw it and it was fucking awesome. Peter, my assistant is uh, a big, he was a big wrestler growing up. So he's a big MMA fan. And he was like through the roof. Shane was losing his mind. Everyone was, Rosebud was with us. She loves MMA. And it was, uh, or UFC, it was fucking awesome it really was awesome and to watch it in person really puts the the pizzazz in it like when you watch it on tv it's okay yeah it's great you know yeah it's good but yeah the the live stuff being a uh, if you're if you are a ufc fan and have not been to one of those they they really are just you you cannot duplicate what it feels like to be with thousands of other people feel that hear that roar and then you're it's a roar to watch a fight and you're watching world-class fighters i mean i've been to like i said i don't know a dozen or more and every time i'm like that was i get an adrenaline rush and like oh, a yeah. huge drop off afterwards you're like oh my god the one thing i didn't like about the rose fight and only because i was like i don't like uh nationalism too much yeah is they were chanting usa for rose and then and 
And the other, it's like, I understand that not everyone likes the other lady that Rose fought. Yeah. Um, but she's also a person, and I just thought it was so weird. Yeah. So like Rocky. Yeah. Three, you know, and I and I was rooting for Rose because I I I I watched her fight, her first fight, or not first fight, but the, you know, like one that her coming out fight. Mm-hmm. And uh, where where she beat, I think where she beat Welly Zhang the first time. But isn't she not? Like it's funny they're saying USA, right? She's yeah. not American. Yeah. Wait, she is. I think she just Rose Namajunas? Is she? Yeah. I think she is. Yeah, she is. She's adorable. Scroll. I mean, scroll. Oh, it, she is American. Okay. Yeah. My bad. She is absolutely adorable. Like, I mean, like, and I'm, I know that she could beat my ass, but I mean, I'm saying that like. That would be so fun to watch. I mean, fight Rose? Wouldn't it? I'll do it. Really? Yeah, I'll fight, I'll fight Rose. You would really get, would you really put the gloves on and everything? Yeah, 100%. Let, let's do the odds. Let's see, let's see what our, dis, let's do our weights, like, size us up. I bet she wouldn't fight me. I bet she'd be like, no, I'm, I'm going to fucking destroy you. Like, I'd get punched. I'd get knocked out by Rose. What would you need it to be? She's 115. <laughs> Wait, hold on. She's like, what, five? Straw three weight. She's six, 65 inch reach. What's my reach? It's got to be more than 65 inches. Yeah, yeah. You figure my dick's this big. That's seven inches. Oh. Here, get your dick hard and measure my, <laughs> measure my reach. Uh, I would, I would, I would, I would fight Rose. Honestly, the only reason I fight Rose is to meet her, because <laughs> I really, I really get a kick out of her. I think she's awesome. She's got good energy, man. I think like, you might want to try to just meet her then. Yeah. Let's see. I think she's adorable. Yeah, it'd be crazy to watch her. She's very, actually, I mean, no joke. She is adorable, but she is very pretty. Yeah, like she has great facial features. Yeah, she does. She, you think she's the prettiest MMA fighter we've ever had? I don't know. That, that's subjective. Oh, I don't know. Uh, wait, type in, let's do hottest UFC act uh, fighters. Okay. Hottest UFC fighters. Oh, 2021. Oh, wow. Oof. Holy shit, man. There's a lot of women that beat my ass. <laughs> Hottest? Who's that motherfucker? Who's that? Attack the back, bro. That's Paige Van Zant. That's Paige Van Zant. Holy shit! Well, how much does she weigh? I'm, I'd like to watch a fight between Paige Van Zant and Rose. Paige Van Zant's gorgeous. Oh yeah, my god, who's she fighting in the Wonder Woman outfit? She's gorgeous too. They're all gorgeous. There's a lot of pretty girls. Who's she fighting there? Jesus. I mean, do you realize do you realize how how unattractive I am to someone like Paige Van Zant? What do you mean? How you Just a, a loud mouthed uh beta male who's like, I'll fight her, you know? <laughs> and she's like, I hang out with men, Bert. Like I hang out with men who choke people out for a living. Can you please like that? Like my energy, I'm such a, I'm such a, uh, what's the, what's our names? I forgot our names. We need our names up on the thing. I want, Paige Van Zant is absolutely. Yeah, you're such a Liam when it comes to this. Such thing. a Liam. I'm such a Liam. Yeah, yeah. She's that's she's super hot. Who's this? Anastasia Yankova. She's from Russia. She's she's gorgeous. Very hot. Holy shit, man. Lena Ovinch. Chinico, what? Chinikova, very attractive. Okay. Ariane Lipsky, very pretty. Yeah, there's a lot of smoke shows, apparently. Julie Fierzo. All right, let's see. Paige Van Zandt. I wonder if I follow. I'm going to follow her on Instagram. Yeah. I actually can't believe how attractive a lot of these women are. It is striking. There's a lot of pretty pages. Paige Van Zandt's got 3 million fucking followers on Instagram. Alexandra Alvo. I want to see her fight. Oof. Where? Let me see her. Holy shit, man. That's a fucking fighter? Well, you, you think about it. 
do uh, do hottest male UFC guys because you think about it, right? Yeah. I, pretty much all the UFC guys are good looking dudes. Are they? Yeah. Right. I don't know. Cowboy, look, look, if we're talking about stereotypical good looking male, like leading male guys, right? They've all got great bodies. They've all got great jaw lines. Like Cowboy Cerrone is a good looking fucking dude. All right. Alistair Overeem, I mean, I'm not attracted to him, but um, but he's a good looking. Like they're sure. all all. When you think about it, all of the UFC guys are good looking dudes, right? Oh, this is. I'm like these are all good looking dudes. This is the top ten hottest. <laughs> Anthony Pettis. All right, let's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Frank Mir is a fucking very strikingly good looking man, and I, I've met him, so I'm, that's why I can say that. George St. Pierre, good looking fucking dude. Good, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Type in the ugliest UFC. John Jones. Yeah. Dude, they're alpha males. Well, yeah. That, that is they're true. They're alpha males. And so whatever that alpha male energy is that they, that they put out, out there, that is attractive. And so I wonder if that is the genetic, the genetic thing where it's like, it's like, yeah, man, I'm ready to throw fucking hands. Ooh. So I met this dude. Sexy Yama. Yeah, I met him in, in an elevator, uh, waiting for the elevator, and he looked like a model. He was, and he had like you know when like good looking dudes wear the beanie that's like half on their head. I did it the other episode. Yeah, right, just like that. Uh, so we're waiting for the elevator. I didn't know who he was, but he's like you know like striking looking, right? His features. And I was like, hey, man. And he was like, hey. And I go, you here for the fights? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and I go, wow, wait. he is fucking stunning. I was like, are you a fighter? And he goes like, yeah. I go, oh, okay. Did he look at you and go, are you here for the buffet? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Dude, he is fucking good looking. Yeah. How much How much you want to bet? You ready for this? Ready for this bet? Yeah. How much you want to bet the average MMA guy I bet their dicks are an inch longer than the average man. It's going to be tough to find that out. I can do it. How can you find out? I just give me a little research. Just give me a month. <laughs> I, like, you, I, think, you think the average MMA fighter, UFC fighter's dick is an, an inch longer? Uh-huh. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I bet. How about this? How much you want to bet? I bet that if you went doctor versus MMA fighter, MMA fighters' dicks, on average, will be an inch and a half longer than every doctor. I would say four inches longer than every doctor's. Wait, we just went from an inch to four inches? You, because now I'm thinking about, these guys all have hogs. Do you remember I saw the one guy naked in the, in the sauna? I don't remember his name. And he had a <laughs> pipe on him. I mean, a pipe. Google who Bert saw naked in the... <laughs> I talked about it on Rogan. I forget the guy's name, man. He had a fucking... He had a pipeline on him. Like there, there were Native Americans protesting him. <laughs> like his dick was so big. Bert, who did Bert see naked in the sauna? Bert Kreischer, MMA. I'm naked in the hot tub at Wendy's house. Dude, keep past that one. Don't get keep going. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know, get out of this page altogether. <laughs> you type in naked, it's like the cabin, the cabin, the cabin. Yeah, dude, I bet, I bet, like, you know, like, you take Gary Goldman, right? Yeah. Gary Goldman has to have a rod on him. I believe it. Because it's alpha shit, dude. It's like those big dudes that fucking, that God put on the earth to walk in front of the, of the line. Yeah. Well, he's also God's also going to give them. He's big also dick. like six four, something dude, like that. Dude, Gary Goldman's one of the better looking dudes I've ever seen in my entire life. What do you think that that interview with Gary Goldman and Judd Apatow is? Is when uh, Judd produced his special. Oh, uh, the Great Depression. The, whatever the I think the last. Yeah, yeah, one, it was yeah. A great special. Yeah, Gary just did Carnegie Hall. He's a great basketball player too. Did you know that? No. Fucking. Amazing basketball he's player. He's a great writer, too. He's a well, he's an amazing comic, obviously. He's the sweetest guy in the... Did he have a baby? Go back to that picture with him and the baby. Oh, yeah, he did the, the comic tips. 
That was great during the pandemic. Oh yeah, he those did. were great. Those were great. Um, yeah, I guarantee you that I, I bet that's a thing because now I'm looking at all these hot females and like, when was the last time you saw an ugly MMA fighter? I mean, it's, some of them have like fucked up faces. Well, yeah, you know? it, fucking ears and whatnot. But like right. Randy Couture, right? Pull up Randy Couture. He is leading man good looks. Legit leading man good looks. Okay. Right, Randy Couture. I mean, that's like. You look at him with he just wears a t shirt and you're like he's like fucking look at him next to Rogan. Oh look at Rogan with hair. Like that's what's crazy is what's crazy to me is that movie stars try to be him. I always think about the fact that like some jackass, some fucking Liam could be at a bar, you know? Yeah. And like mouth off not knowing like that happens. That happens with the. That actually happened. What's his name? Oh, um, uh, oh, uh, oh! Uh, uh, God damn it! Who he's was from it? Liber- he's from Schill- uh, Cur- uh, Chilling. Yeah. Sh- uh, God damn! I just talked about this. Pull up that video. At bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God, what's his name? Um, Joe Schilling. Joe Schilling. Yeah, Joe Schilling. Fuck! I was. I wanted the whole time I was going Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling. Yeah, because like. That guy w- and that guy was actually doing that. He was fucking around, and apparently being a a, a fucking smartass to him. And then he did this, you know. He he, he uh, did that. You can't do that to and bro. Joe Schilling is, and I say this based on the research I've done. Yeah, one of the best strikers in the fucking world. He's world class, man. He's world class. Champ. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Yeah. And by the way, a very sweet dude. Not that night, but yeah. Joe Schilling, it, like, that's you the wanna, crazy thing. Is you know, the, you, that's the thing is, like, you can do, you can go like that to the wrong person. Those guys, you know, that was, that's like, uh, that's a, an instinctive response. Well, if you're, if you're a trained fighter. Pull for up years our names, years pull up years, our names, pull up our names. Keep going. If you're a trained fighter for years and years. Yeah. Somebody goes like this to you. Like raises their hands or flexes on you. You're not thinking like, oh, should I? He just went pop pop. Like it was so fast, you know. It would. It would. That's thousands and thousands of of hours of. I wonder if I could dodge a punch from Joe Schilling. No. You can't. I don't. Let me see that punch again. Because no, I've been. I, I like. I. I think I have an uncanny ability to dodge. Go punches. to YouTube and do it. Go to YouTube. By the way, I'm setting this up for people to just take swings at me on the road. Yeah, let's not. Let's yeah. not have that happen. Yeah, this is a horrible idea. Overdoing chewing. The risk of doing a chewing marathon? What happened to that guy's face? God, the internet knows what I want. Yeah, okay, okay. I want to see this, okay? So apparently right. this guy was... Hit pause, hit pause, hit pause. Because immediately this guy is is uh, projecting yeah. fucking, like, fucking boom. Yeah. You know? He's being loud and the story was... a racial slur towards a busboy. Ah. What do you think that racial slur was, Tom? You're allowed to say them. <laughs> No, is speaking English? I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Can't play that. He's like, okay, move. Excuse me. What'd you say? Okay, I couldn't dodge that. I couldn't dodge that. I couldn't dodge that. I couldn't dodge that. I mean, like, and I and I really think that I'll tell you why. Yeah. Wow! 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 See how? But you see how he, he raised he raised his hands to him. Right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what Joe Schilling's doing is what I do a lot. Yeah. If you step to me like that, yeah. I bet Joe Schilling and I. In his, now go back, go back a few seconds, because like he's blocking the way for right. He's like, I'm trying to get by. He's like, watch out, man. And then he says something to him. Oof. Joe Schilling, by the way, I would be shaking. If I just hit somebody, I'd be shaking. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, no. Oh. Well, that's somebody that's hit people. By the way, by the way, times. this is also a guy who doesn't know how to read shirts. Turn around. Let's wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Do the give in. What look what is it? What does his shirt say? Something cage. Ring again. Ready? He should be reading his shirt right now. Hit pause. Ring. King of the cage. <laughs> King Cage. I don't know. I can't read it. Can you read it? In there? No. Nah. Yeah, you don't. It's really out of focus. 
Up oh, parking. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ring cage parking lot. <laughs> okay. Oof. Oh, there you go. That guy's fucked, man. And you know what's crazy? Hang on. Let's see whose fault it really is. Go. Ready? Ready? Hang on. So wait. Okay. Okay, technically, you ready for this? Yeah. In the universe, of the sliding door universe, this is the waiter's fault. Because yeah. the waiter went over, and had the waiter not walked over at that time, that guy wouldn't have dot, walked over and gotten in front of Joe Schilling. So if you're looking at, like, the whole big seat, because no. he went over to talk to the waiter. No, I don't think so. Um, it's obviously not the waiter's fault. It's the fucking No, no, but I'm saying that this guy is so, he's drunk, and he's, he gets in the, the path right there. I wonder what he said. I wonder what he said to him. But the best is that he raises his arms. Do you know Joe Schilling? No. No. But I wouldn't. Let me see. If I wouldn't do this to him. I follow Joe Schilling. Let's see if Joe Schilling follows me. Nope. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he does. He does follow me. He follows you too, Tom. Cody No Love. There's a lot of MMA fighters I feel like I know because I follow them. Yeah. You know, and then it's like, you, and, but you don't know them at all. <laughs> like, but I feel like because I follow them, I know them. You know what I mean? Are you on Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. I don't only really fucking with Instagram. I haven't looked at Twitter in a very long time. Yeah. I took Twitter off my phone so that I have to use it like this, Tommy. I took it, I put it, all, took it off my phone so if I use Twitter, I've got to use the mobile version on my phone. And it, I end up not using it because I can't see it. Yeah. So I never really use Twitter anymore. I don't even post on Twitter. I usually post like polls and stuff. Like, uh, oh, we should. Get, I can't wait until these names go viral. And people do videos. Make sure you do videos and, and, and discuss our names, okay? Remember, let's go through it top to bottom, and then I'm going to get on a plane and go home. Okay. Uh, Oliver. Unattentive driver. Give me a, give me a, give me a sentence. I'm gonna, ready? I'm going to say a name, and then you give me a sentence using an Oliver, okay? okay. Oliver. Dude, I was I was trying to get here on time, but as I got on the highway, a fucking Oliver was not not in the right lane, which had already there was an Oliver in the fucking left lane, yeah. which makes me just want to fucking lose my mind. Oliver driving forty five in the left lane. That's a good one, Tom. That was a good one. That was a good one. Okay, Sorry, I, got, I got a little random. No, I like it. I like yeah. it. I like it. Sound like you're being a little bit of a Liam, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you think that all women are Olivers? <laughs> That's a good one, right? Yeah. Okay, Liam. Uh, and that's arrogant know-it-all. Yeah. yeah. Man, Ari can be such a Liam sometimes. Oh, fucking Liam Shafir over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dude, Joe Schilling knocked out a Randy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, okay. Uh, give me a good. Um, give me a good Randy sentence. Um, Randy sentence. Um, you know, whenever, uh, whenever, <laughs> whenever I'm. I hear a Maddie. Sometimes I, I get all Randy because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maddies talk softly. Randys are very violent. Um. Oh my god! Oh. I have to push my inner Randy down sometimes, don't you? I don't have an inner Randy. No, like everyone has an inner Randy. So there, 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 there is an element of Randy in it, in everyone. Right. Oh yeah, I swallow my Randy right. constantly. Right. I swallow my Randy all the time. Yeah. Because I I know for a fact there are. By the way, we need a new one, and uh, it's called a shilling, and that's someone who is going to be better than you. Wait, do we have that already? No. We need what is a, a shilling is a guy who knows exactly what he's doing and exactly how to do it when you think you know the exact same thing. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, it's like the Dunning Kruger so, uh, meets their match. Yeah, so it's so. like it's like, uh, I, like, dude, I literally, you ready for this? Tom and I went to play tennis, and he found out I was a straight up shilling. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's a good one. Okay, a shilling is a guy who, who 
knows how to do what you think you know how to do 10 times better than you do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, should we call it a Joe shilling? It's too wordy. Okay. Just a shilling. Just a shilling. Yeah. Just a shilling. Okay. We could call it a Joe. We got to wrap. We got to wrap. You got to go. I got to go. Uh, thank you very much for my birthday present. You're welcome. Um, by the way, I wish I was staying here longer. I really do. I Me wish too. I, It'd be fun. I know. I'm kind of bummed that I have to leave right now. It sucks that the uh, calendar's like this, but you're coming back, and I am going to L.A., and we're, we're going to fuck do, around in L.A. too. We're going to fuck around in L.A. and do an episode or maybe two at, at the at my place, Yeah, and then I'll be back. I'm in the road. I'm on the road in December in Austin, Sugarland, Abilene, Austin, uh, Grand Prairie, El Paso, Phoenix, New Orleans. You're out there. Yeah, New Year's Eve at the Met, two shows. Where you at New Year's Eve? Uh, Hawaii, the Hawaii Theater. What? In Honolulu, yeah. Man, wait, in Honolulu? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I got to uh, hook you up with uh, Nathan Florence. Can I get him tickets? Of course. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do a group text. Okay. Bring all my little... I love these fucking surfer kids. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. All right, all right. we got to roll. Love you. Right. Love you, bye. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call... Two bears, one cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur photology. Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.